have 10 more life hacks every figure skater should know. So let's jump right into these life hacks. Or should I say Axel into these life hacks? Okay, I'm done. Life hack number one is to make a vision board. I love vision boards so, so much. They are just so motivating and they let you put all your goals in one place. And you can just look at your vision board every day and say, I am going to accomplish or get closer to accomplishing my goals. So as you guys can see on my vision board, I have some makeup with a game face little sticker on there and I thought that was super cute. My favorite skating quote, forget the glass slippers, this princess wears ice skates. And then I have a little pass my senior moves. Actually, I just passed my senior moves, so I'm so excited about that. I should take that down and say pass my senior free skate or something like that. And then I have the Olympic rings, which is my biggest goal of life. I would love to go to the Olympics and represent Team USA. Going to the Olympics would be amazing and I really hope I get to do that in the future. And then I have a US Figure Skating Championship little sticker on some skates, a little travel sticker, and a Stars on Ice sticker. I would love to be in Stars on Ice when I'm older. And yeah, that is about it for my vision board. If you guys make one, I would love to see it. Life hack number two is to cut your old in the boot tights and to practice skating socks. If you're just not using your tights anymore because they are very old or if they have a ton of holes in them, this is a great way to salvage your tights and get some skating socks out of it that you can use at practice. All you're going to need is some old in the boot tights and some scissors. All you're going to do is cut your tights at the desired length that you want and you can fold them or do whatever you want with them. But there you go, now you have some new practice socks. Life hack number three is when you are so sore, your body is aching, you have been doing so much office, you want to take a warm bath with some Epsom salt. Epsom salt is known to release inflammation and reduce pain and also Epsom salt helps heal minor cuts and bruises and as figure skaters we all have those. Life hack number four also goes along with your sore muscles. So say you are rolling your muscles out with this large roller and you are not getting into those spots that are really hurting, use a lacrosse ball or even a golf ball to get into those sore spots. I swear using a lacrosse ball or a golf ball really gets into those spots and releases them a lot better than using something bigger like this. So I really recommend to get a lacrosse or golf ball to really loosen up your muscles. Life hack number five is to get out those pesky wrinkles in your figure skating dresses before you go out and compete. So I have two options for you. Option number one would probably be the safer option. It is to get a steamer and steam your skirt very lightly because I once tried to iron a Lululemon like regular skirt and I burned it. So hold on, I'm gonna show you super quick. So I really love this Lululemon skirt and I'm sad to say that I killed it with an iron so don't go anywhere near your expensive dresses with an iron because you probably will make the same mistake I did and ruin your skirt luckily this was not as expensive as that one back there that would be very devastating and I would be dead right now um, with my skirt that's cool yeah we'd be dead together okay so that spot right there is where I burned and killed my skirt so don't make the same mistake I did and get a steamer and steam your dresses but option number two if you absolutely cannot get a steamer, I definitely recommend trying this trick out. So what you're gonna do is put your dress into the bathroom with you when you are taking a shower and let the steam from the shower iron out your skirt. However, don't shower for too long because you don't want the heat to make your crystals fall off your dress just long enough so your dress is ironed out and ready to go. Life hack number six is for those people who have stinky skates like me. So every day after your practice, you really want to air out your skates. So what I do is I put my skates in in front of a fan to really let them air out and dry. If you're never letting your skates dry and you're just keeping them in your bag after practice, they can grow mold and get really stinky. So I definitely recommend airing out your skates after you practice. Life hack number seven is to make music playlists. You want that motivation music, you want that calming music, etc. So I definitely recommend making playlists for different occasions when you're meditating, when you're calming down, when you're working out, when you're getting ready to go out for competition. Music really helps people get in the right frame of mind. It helps you calm down or get pumped up. So I definitely recommend making some playlists of music that you guys really like listening to. I've made some pretty cool playlists on my Spotify. My Spotify is at SK8, S-K-A-T-I-E if you want to go follow that and check out my playlist because I really love music and I would love to share my taste of music with you guys. Life hack number eight is another hockey puck exercise. In my last life hacks video, I showed you guys the pucks exercise to really work on your core before you 
skate. But this time we are doing back edge pulls and for this you only need one hockey puck. So as you guys can see I'm just putting my free leg toe pick onto the hockey puck and I'm just doing my back edge pulls like I usually would. This exercise helps you get really strong back edge pulls that you're gonna need for some of your moves in the field test so I definitely recommend practicing this exercise and getting a stronger back edge pull on both legs. Life hack number nine is to do what you usually do and eat what you usually do before practice before a competition. So you don't want to change up your routine because it is competition. You want to eat the same things and do the same things so it just feels like a practice. You never want to try something new before you go out and compete because you can get sick, you can get injured, etc. Also, if you have a little ritual before you go out and compete, always do it. Something like tying your left skate before your right or having your guards a certain way when you are competing. I definitely have that. I have to have blue and pink in front. If you've ever seen that in one of my videos, I always have my blue and pink guards together and they are just my good luck charm. So if you have one of those, always stick to it before you compete. Never change it up. Life hack number 10 is to be selfish. And I know that sounds kind of weird. You want to be nice to your friends. You don't want to be mean to anybody. Many people are going to try to knock you down because they don't want success for you. You need to not only prove them wrong, but you need to prove to yourself that you can do anything you set your mind to. Just stick to your technique, stay in your bubble, and don't let anybody get to you. It's not worth it. When I am at competition, I usually have my headphones on the whole time listening to inspirational, motivational music, ready to go on. And if someone's trying to talk to me, I usually tell them that I'm not allowed to talk. Even though I'm pretty much allowed to talk to anyone I want to, I'd rather not because I want to keep a clear headspace and not let anybody else in there. So I just say go out onto that ice, live your dream, skate your heart out, and have the time of your life. I really hope you guys enjoyed this life hacks video and found it helpful. If you have not already and you would like to, please click that subscribe button down below and become a member of our big happy iKatie family. Also, when you do subscribe, click that little bell so you're notified when I post videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And also follow all my social medias at SKASKHIE for Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, you're awesome and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I will see you guys later. Have an amazing day, everyone. Bye, my little skaties.